We are in Charleston, West Virginia, on our way to Richmond, Virginia, and it's blizzarding. Six inches of snow on the ground last night, and it's not letting up yet. Are you sending some last messages to your relatives in case we don't make it? Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. This is going to be a hell of a drive. This is why we bought this Bronco. Full-time four-wheel drive. Let's see if... Uh, or we're going to see if that pays off. Because we got to go through the Appalachians. Some mountain passes. It's going to be hairy. Australian Siri is directing us where to go. So uh, off, well, off we go. It's kind of beautiful though, isn't it? <laughs> but deadly, this snowstorm. Now usually uh, on these trips, I take a bunch of shots and put it to music, a couple, three, maybe four minutes long, because I want to give you an idea of what it looks like when we go from destination to destination. But it's going to be a little different this time. We're going to do commentary. As Australian Siri tells us where to go. Can't get over how beautiful it is though. As uh, Texans we don't see this. I mean we see snow maybe once every three or four years and we'll get an inch. That it's melts not, the next day. It's not, snow. Huh? it's not really snow. Yeah and she says that's not even really snow. Very rarely we get snow there in Texas so this it's really beautiful. I, I love looking at it. All the trees. Looks like a winter wonderland. Yeah, there's a coating of ice and then the snow on top of it. That's big. When I dug the car out. You can see all the ice and snow on the tree branches. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Say what you want about West Virginia. It is beautiful. Yes. Well, Australian series got us on uh, some funky back roads. I just hope we, uh, this train's not going to hold us up. We have to cross that. That'll traffic suck. Lights, traffic lights, turn right. <laughs> yeah, on the next traffic light, turn right. Right when the train's hitting. <laughs> huh? We're going to be sitting here waiting for this train to go by. Looks like we're going to get lucky and go underneath the train. Here in very rural West Virginia. But uh, I have to say, those are pretty flowers. <laughs> Think those are pretty flowers painted there? Honey, luck has nothing to do with it. They didn't run out here and just uh, dig this tunnel for us right this instant. No? Obviously, this road was here. So how is ah. that luck? How is that us getting lucky? <laughs> well, I guess I don't know, but boy, we are definitely off the freeway. But apparently, uh, this is the quickest way to Richmond. This little two-lane uh, blacktop. But oh, it is so beautiful. I was look at say, it. Look, we have more scenery this way. It's gorgeous here. Normally, I prefer going on freeways, but maybe not today. <laughs> Woo! Yep. But the good thing is, we Don't won't have, have to, to be at. dealing with trucks. <laughs> Man, 18 wheelers, that's like gauntlets on freeways sometimes. But I, you know. I, I have to film this. I can't get over how just how gorgeous this drive is here. Well, this sucks. <laughs> They're working on the road, so they've got a light letting, you know, people go through in each direction. <laughs> and on intervals. So here we are, setting at a lonely red light. No, no, I don't call this a snowstorm, honey. It is snowing. It's well, not a snowstorm. That's quite a bit of snow coming down honey it's kind of a snowstorm did you mm -hmm. see all the snow on the ground honey but yeah it's still <laughs> just snowing okay so it's snowing anyway so we're waiting for our turn to go down this road well we're finally back on the freeway after that uh, little side trip Australian Siri put us on this road looks much better as we drive through the beautiful Appalachians well, Australian Siri has got us back on another small road. Look how pretty it is, though. Yeah, it is very... Look at all the Christmas trees. It is beautiful. <laughs> Go past this stop sign. Left 
Alright, so Siri's telling us to turn. We're getting on this little road. Whoa, wait, which way am I turning? I'm turning right down this road. Oh boy. Yeah. Sometimes I don't get the pass she puts us on. Wow, okay. Well, this is going to be fun. Isn't that right, honey? Well, I'm a little bit nervous on this little road that we're on because this, I don't know if this is wide enough for two cars to pass each other, do you? It probably isn't wide enough when there isn't snow on the ground. Now it's snow on the ground, it makes it much yeah. smaller because, yeah, it just makes it much smaller. She just tries to get us the fastest route and she can tell if there's accidents or not. She tries to get us around it, but I don't think she knows anything about snow. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, yeah, this is, uh, man. I mean, we're like in the middle of nowhere, West Virginia. The nearest town is miles away. Look at, look at that. Look. <laughs> That's just gorgeous. Look at that. You know, I'm going to get my, my phone out. Yeah, you should get a picture of that. I'm, gonna... I'm just going so oh. on purpose because this is what just is... amazing what scenery. Did I get my... Phone. It's in there. Oh, that's right. All right. Here. Well, we're done on that little road. We're getting back on the freeway. It seems odd that uh, she keeps taking us off the freeway, <laughs> taking a little tiny road and getting back on the freeway. But don't criticize Sheila. That's what she's doing. Bit of an update. We're on the freeway. It's empty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, occasional car here and there, but yeah, I-64, most people had the good sense. To stay home. Most people had the good sense to stay home. Not us. <laughs> we don't have good sense, do we? Well, we don't have a home either. That's true. We don't have a home. <laughs> they kicked us out of the hotel. We got to go to the next one. We have no choice. <laughs> All right, we are driving in a cloud now. <laughs> I guess that's called fog. Yes. But yes, we uh, definitely a cloud sitting on the ground here. Not a lot of visibility. I mean, what is that? Eighth of a mile of visibility? Yeah. Less than a quarter of a mile. It's, it's getting thicker. This is like a couple hundred feet. As I'm, whoa, it's getting, Okay, we gotta slow down. Look at that. Yeah. Just now seeing that sign. It's like a couple hundred feet now. Yeah. Very thick fog here on the ground. Mm. Wow, looky here. We're, the sun's trying to poke out. Did you say looky here? Yeah, I said looky here. <laughs> looky here. Looky we're getting here. A, we're getting well. It's short lived, the sun's going back behind the clouds. Again. Is that because you've been watching Yellowstone? Do they say lucky on Yellowstone? I don't know, do they? Sounds Maybe. like something they would say on Yellowstone. I don't know. Possibly. I really like that show. It's a good show. Yeah, see that? It's not just rainy, or I'm sorry, snowing, cold, it's uh, very windy. Look at the snow being kicked up. Yes over there in that field to the left. Well, right here in the road. You can feel that wind hitting the truck. Let's go over here and look. Yeah, look at that. Wow. It's crazy. Kicking up that snow. Really windy. You can see some more over here to the left. All right, I think we're through the worst of it. Actually seeing the sun come out in spots. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I'm not speaking too soon. But, uh, looks a lot clearer here. Okay, we're about to cross into Virginia. Yeah, let's look at our little map here. Yeah, see the little red line? That is the state line. And we're about to hit it right now. There it is. Welcome to Virginia. Virginia is for lovers. Oh, I that? forgot about that sign. Huh? I've, I've, I forgot that their sign said that Virginia is for lovers. The Purple Heart State. 
How about that? Hard to say now that I've never Ooh, seen and we oh, hit my. some wind right off the bat. <laughs> oh, holy cow. You can feel that. <laughs> All right. So we're in Virginia now. We crossed the border and it looked clear and here we are. <laughs> Back into heavy weather again. Thick fog and uh, snow. It's, it's like the state line broke it up. It was like clear yeah. weather. We went across the state line and as soon as we did, here comes the wind and here comes the snow. Richmond 189, that's where we're heading. So we're in Covington. Covington, Virginia. We are coming up on Lexington, Virginia. We are in Lexington, Virginia, getting some of this high-priced President Biden gas. But uh, just wanted to get a little video of the car. <laughs> Look at it. It is disgustingly filthy. Can't even read the license plate. Man. And it's not melting because uh, it's about 23 degrees out here. It's really disgusting looking, isn't it? I mean, look at that. Woo! That's bad. Ugh, it's cold out here. Blizzard warning. Oh, shit. I mean, it, I don't see one yet. I know. It looks pretty nice here. We're outside of Waynesboro, Virginia. And Australian Siri just told us that we've got a uh, blizzard warning. Blizzard warning! It's just another thing that they're warning us of after it happens. <laughs> I was going to say, we've already been through the blizzard. We're driving by Charlottesville right now. What do you not see on the ground here? Snow. There's, well, a tiny bit there, but it's, the snow's almost all gone. It's like we just drove out of it. That's really Wow, funny. so we're back in snow again. So we driving into Charlottesville, the snow cleared out. And it got up to 32 degrees, now it's back down to 28. And we're driving through snow again. We are on the outskirts of Richmond now, heading into the city. Richmond, Virginia. Well, it's the next morning. Today is uh, a lot different than yesterday. Sunny, still cold, about 34 degrees. But at least we got some sun and it's supposed to get pretty warm. Anyway, I'm driving through some neighborhoods towards downtown. Kind of an interesting, you can tell these whole uh, houses are really old. East 14th and Hull Street, that's where I'm at. A lot of uh, hundred year old buildings here. We go up here a little farther to the left, you should see the city center. The downtown, yeah, there it is. So we're almost there. All right, I am crossing the James, I believe this is the James River. You can see I'm heading into downtown. I would give you, well, I'll give you a shot, but you can see my mirror or glass is really dirty. I'm uh, on my way to the first historical place that I'm gonna visit. One of the most historical places as far as the United States is concerned, 
that exists. As the traffic lines turn right onto East Dock Street. All right, Australian Siri is telling me to turn right up at the light. I'm driving through what I believe is the oldest neighborhood in um, Richmond. I mean, a lot of these houses are built 1800s. Still in excellent shape. They've obviously, uh, no, they have obviously taken care of them. People still live here. That one looks like uh, there's one there. It's being refurbished, but I mean, wow, look at these. Huh? I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death. One of the most famous speeches in history, given in uh, 1775 by Patrick Henry at this church, St. John's. I'm walking towards it now. While not the birth of the United States, it can be argued that the uh, womb of our country, the uh, fetus inside the womb, that would be the U.S., happened here. This is St. Yeah, like I said earlier, St. John's Church in 1775, Patrick Henry, a lawyer from Virginia, gave the speech to an audience that included George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. They were there trying to decide whether to uh, develop a militia for self-defense. They weren't really sure if they wanted to, but uh, his speech convinced them. Uh, and it is there that for many, the spot where the U.S. as a country took root. A little bit better look from this side of the building. You know, I got some trees there, but you know, it's not the grandest church. Not the most impressive looking church that you'll see. But it is significant in the history of the United States. You can see a lot of tombstones. It's, it's also a cemetery here out front. And they are so old that you can't even read them anymore. I'm going to try to go inside because how cool would that be to be inside a building that George Washington and Thomas Jefferson themselves were inside at one time. In addition to Patrick Henry, who uh, went on to become the first governor of Virginia. It is Sunday, so they are having services today, but I'm just going to take a quick look inside. Probably won't even go inside the doors. Well, maybe I will. One quick look. Yeah, here we are. I'm inside St. John's. I'm in inside a room that George Washington was once in. Thomas Jefferson was once in. And of course, Patrick Henry delivered his speech from up there. Give me liberty or give me death. Awesome. Totally awesome. Anyway, like I said, it's Sunday and they've been having services, so... I'm being quiet and respectful and I'm not gonna hang around here a lot. Just give you a quick look at the inside of the church. You can see the Bibles and the pews here. Some of the uh, glass, it's very beautiful. Really beautiful. That's cool. All right, I'm gonna head back out. Because I want to be respectful, you know what I'm saying? Shut the door, shut the door to it. Anyway, yeah, St. John's, 1741. Episcopal. How cool. Really cool. Here's a tombstone you can still read. Governor John Page died October 11, 1808. And he's buried right here on the edge of the church. 
even the woods a little peeling ever so slightly the uh, shutters they look a little beat up I think they're just basically leaving the church as is since it was constructed in the mid 1700s amazing here's another tombstone in the cemetery lies James Mercer 1736-1793 member of Continental Congress how about that awesome get another look very top with the spire amazing all right well I'm gonna head into downtown the church was pretty awesome I got to tell you guys but anyway yeah I am driving right into downtown now you can see it I'm sure and just giving you a look at the street as I approach it. I am in the heart of downtown Richmond, Virginia. As I said earlier, this is one of the oldest cities in the U.S. Founded in 1737. A lot of history here. The capital of Virginia. Virginia has produced more U.S. presidents than any other state, with eight, uh, including Thomas Jefferson, who is also the second governor of Virginia, um, George Washington. Taking a look at this, First National Bank, grand old building. Giving you a quick shot of downtown as I'm seeing it right now. Some of the old mixed in with the new. Feels like a pretty big city. It's not huge. Currently population of 226,000. Metro of 1.1 million. So it's a smaller city. But it, um, it looks big down here. A lot of buildings. Not a lot of traffic now, but it is a Sunday morning. This imposing looking building is the Federal Reserve. There are 12 of them in the United States, including one here in Richmond. Give you a look of at what I'm seeing downtown. Another look at the Federal Reserve Bank. A little roundabout here that's been here since the uh, 1700s still has the cobblestone and that's a fountain that normally works anyway I am uh, heading towards Browns Island you can see these canals here George Washington came up with the idea of these canals to bypass the uh, James River over here where there are falls rapids and generally not a good place for river boats. So he uh, came up with the idea to build these canals to go around because they wanted to uh, create a riverway or a waterway to um, the Mississippi. Now I'm on Browns Island. <laughs> Haven't quite made it over to uh, James River. Just want to take a look at this pretty striking statue uh, celebrating Virginians who fought for equality and freedom that's pretty vivid isn't it breaking his shackles so to speak that is the James River the major river that goes through here but you can see right here why they built the canals. That area is pretty impassable for boats. I uh, come upon this cross at this very spot the first explorers from Europe arrived here and they uh, placed this cross here in 1607. 
1607. The very first spot that explorers came off the river. This is the last ship uh, lock. It's called the Great Ship Lock. And the water is lowered and raised here so the river boats can go through back and forth. And they head out into the James River, which is right here. And make their way to the Mississippi. Amazing. Wow. All right, that's all, uh, that's all I'm gonna do for now. The wife's texting me, we're, we are, uh, we're gonna go, go to the capital. So I'm gonna go pick her up. We're gonna head that way. Got the wife. We are heading to the capital. See, I raised the phone, or the camera up. They are doing some renovation. I swear, at like 70% of the time, these capital buildings are under some kind of renovation. Yeah. It's on a bit of a hill here. There's a U.S. Court of Appeals. Give you a look at the surroundings. Clearly, we're here in downtown. But all right, here we go. You think we'll be able to go in the front door? <laughs> this Capitol building was designed by uh, Thomas Jefferson, who was the second governor of Virginia and our third president. And clearly we're not going in here. Some of our founding fathers, uh, clearly. Hmm. It says here, the, these were built, or was finished in 1894. I guess they're refurbishing it. Oh, there you go. And with that really magnificent looking gray building in the background. We have finally found the entrance. It is here. All right, we're inside now. Going to head up into the Capitol. Looking for the person who will stamp her passport book. First thing we see is a statue of Thomas Jefferson, the architect of liberty. All right, as I'm waiting for her to get stamped, they do have a rotunda of sorts. Look up. Just can really see it from the outside. Well. All right, let's get her stamped. And go. she's got it. I only have one. Okay. Let's yeah, let me see it. All right, Virginia. He likes to get everything on video. <laughs> yeah, this I think this is our 15th one. And he will send it around the world. Yes. <laughs> Electronically. That's right. Yes. Virginia have more presidents than any other state, and so they have a bust of all eight presidents that came from Virginia. Now over here we have a portrait of Pocahontas. Yeah, it's Pocahontas. Uh, painted in the late 1700s, I guess. How cool, huh? Mm -hmm. I bet that's worth a lot of money. Yeah, this is the governor's gallery. So all the governors of the state. Their paintings are hung here. I mean, we're right up on this rotunda. It's just a little, little teeny one. It's little, but it's pretty. Yeah. All right, this portrait is Timothy Kane. He got beat by this guy. This looks like this is Yunkin here, the current governor. And this is his office. Sunday, so there'll be nobody working today. Yeah, locked up. Do you know where Richmond got its name? I have no idea. The guy who founded the city, I think his name is Bird was from Richmond in England, a suburb of London. So he named this city after his hometown in England. So there's another Richmond in England. Now, if you remember from uh, our Montgomery, Alabama video, we went to the first house of the Confederacy, actually toured it. And then later during the war, they moved the Confederate capital here to Richmond. And this was the second White House of the Confederacy. I ain't gonna lie, it looks in pretty bad shape. 
interesting how it's just yeah it's just tucked into a little corner here wasn't easy to find it let me go around to the other side yeah president's mansion white house of the confederacy jefferson davis and his wife marina built in 1865 huh. oh no i'm sorry built in 1818 built in 1818 and it became a school after yeah so here it is the second white house of the confederacy i would tour it but they're closed today it's sunday registered national historic landmark hmm. all right well we're gonna head back to the hotel get ready for our next destination the wife's still in the car she got cold she can't handle this cold at all it looks beautiful out here but it's only in the 40s low 40s but anyway yeah we're gonna head back to the hotel and get ready to leave in the morning.